This is George Ura, recording for ICIT. In this week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast, we are going to look at how you can split one column with data in Excel into multiple columns. Let's have a look at the sample file I have. I will open it in Excel, and as you can see, it's a regular spreadsheet except my first column is called full name, and it includes the first name, middle initial, followed by a period, and the last name of all the people on my list. Instead of that, I would prefer to have three columns, one with each separate piece of data. So, how do we do that? Well, we have to start by anticipating how many columns are going to be needed to hold all this data. We already have one column, but we will need one more for middle initial and one more for the last name. So let's insert two more blank columns. I will select a column, right click, and choose insert. That will create an empty column. And now I will repeat this, right click and insert. And this way I have three columns, the first one with the information I already have, and the other two ready for the new data, which is going to be split from this column. OK, what do we do now? Right now, let's select the column that we want to split and on our ribbon, which probably is open on the Home tab when you start Excel, we will go to Data. And on Data tab, we will select Text to Columns. I will click that, and Excel pops up a dialog box, which gives me some choices. So let's have a look at them. It says, choose the file type that best describes your data. And yes, in my case, the data that I have is delimited. Why? Well, that's because the information in each row is separated by consistently repeated pieces of information. So we have the first name separated from the middle initial by space, which in turn is separated from the last name by a period followed by a space, and then we have last name. So yes, we have delimited column, delimited information, and we will accept that and click Next. Here, Excel lets us decide how to split the column by what specific signs or characters we want to divide this column. And in the lower part of this dialog box, conveniently, it offers us a preview of how it's actually going to split this. In our case, we do have a repeating element, and that is a space. So I will select Space. We do not have a tab, so I will uncheck that. And right now, we have one column with the first name, second column, which will hold just the middle initial, and the third column with last name. There's one little problem I would actually prefer to have the middle initial without the period that follows. So I can actually tell it that the separating characters sometimes are more than just one space. In this case, I don't have a choice of period, so I will choose other and enter, click here inside this box, and simply enter a period. And as you can see when I did this, it eliminated the period after the middle initial. Make sure that you have this checked, although Excel selected it automatically when I added more than one choice here. That tells it that it should not create a separate column just to hold the periods or just to hold the space that comes after periods. It tells it that consecutive delimiters, in our case, it is the period followed by a space, are in fact one division. They should not be treated separately. So I will make sure this is checked. And as you can see, it created three columns, or at least it's going to create three columns. Let's move to the next step. Now, you could skip the step and just click on Finish, but this might be practical. It creates three columns, and here it lets you decide what is the format of the data in each column. I will click on the first one. It's already selected. I will change this to text because that's the type of data it will hold. And I will repeat this for the second column, text. Click on the third and select text. You don't have to do it, but I like to have the columns labeled with the appropriate format of data. Now that we have that, we can just click Finish. And before Excel proceeds, it's less, it lets us know 
that it will actually replace the whole first column with three separate columns and it wants us to confirm. As you remember, we can always undo this. So we'll click OK and see if we get what we anticipated. OK. And there we go. So now we have three columns. The first name, the first one has the first name and I can actually scale it down so it's just long enough for those names. The second one with middle initial and the third one with last name. Now of course I could rename those so on this one I will type first this one will simply be named MI for middle initial and this column will be last. Now that we have that of course it's much easier to manage our data. For example now that I have the last names listed separately I can click and sort and now I have all the names sorted by last name. So we were able to take one column of data and split it into separate columns and this way we can manage our data more efficiently. And that's it. That's all for this week. I hope you will join me next week in Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast. Thank you. Goodbye.